How many people here love to have dessert? That's everybody. Everybody loves to have desserts. And I've always had the opinion that you're not finished with your meal until you've had your dessert. Tonight I'm going to tell you about a dilemma I found myself with regarding desserts. About three years ago I woke up one morning and I noticed that when I look to the left, everything looks normal. When I look to the right, I had double vision. It's very annoying. It was like that all day long. And I hoped that the next night, whatever it was, would clear up overnight. Well, the next morning I woke up and still I saw that double vision just when I looked to the right. So, got scared, <laughs> went to my eye doctor, and I got a pretty quick diagnosis. Terry, you have diabetes. And I said, well, my regular doctor has been warning me about diabetes for years, but what does it have to do with my eye problem? He said, well, what's wrong with your eye is that the nerve that feeds the muscle on the right side of your right eye is going bad, so that with the muscle not having the sufficient nutrient from the nerve, the muscle is not able to pull your eyeball with the same strength that the other eyeball muscles pull. So that's why you're getting offset vision. So I said, okay, what does it have to do with diabetes? This is my eye problem. He said, well, that's what diabetes does. It kills off nerve endings. I said, okay, what do I have to do to fix this? He said, so there's three things you have to do. Number one, you have to start taking diabetes medicine. Number two, you have to reduce your sugar consumption. Number three, you have to lose some weight. I said, well, I think I can do two out of three of those. <laughs> Been trying to lose weight for 40 years and you can see the results of that. So I took the diabetes medicine and I reduced my sugar consumption, and in about two weeks, my eye went back to normal, and I haven't had any trouble with it since. But now, since then, the diabetes has slowly been killing the nerve endings in my feet, which is a really strange feeling. And if it's left untreated, some people have had it get so bad that they've had to have toes or sometimes even entire feet amputated once basically they go dead. And some people have gone blind from diabetes. So, the question is, what is a guy supposed to do in a situation like this when he loves to have desserts? I'll tell you what he does. He seeks out sugar-free desserts. And I brought some here tonight to show you. These are peanut butter bars. I'm going to pass these around. You can take a sample. And if you look on the label, you'll see that it says sugar free. And also, I have something else you can take a sample of Hershey's sugar free chocolate with caramel filling. Take one of those. One of my favorite desserts is to have two of these and two or three chocolate pieces. It's really delicious. Also, Russell Stover has all sorts of varieties of sugar-free chocolates. Sugar-free eggnog loaf. This is so delicious. They also have marble loaf and banana nut bread. This is a really good substitute for cake. And you can buy these at the Sprouts Market, some of the smaller grocery stores like that, or health food stores. Shredded coconut. Unsweetened organic. Sugar 
sugar-free oatmeal cookies, sugar-free chocolate chip cookies. And there are all sorts of varieties of sugar-free cookies that you can easily get at Walmart or Costco or most grocery stores, even the 99 cent stores have sugar-free cookies. Cookies and cream, chocolate wafers. Love these. They also have the vanilla wafers, strawberry wafers, and peanut butter wafers. There's also Reese's peanut butter cups, sugar free. There's sugar free mints. There's all sorts of sugar free hard candies. And if you like syrup on your ice cream, your Smuckers, sugar free caramel. Hershey's sugar-free strawberry syrup. Smucker's sugar-free chocolate syrup. Sugar-free pancake syrup. Sugar-free ice cream is really hard to find, but it's out there. Look for a brand, brand called Clemmy's. 100% sugar-free ice cream. It's hard to find, but it's really good. Peanut butter. Sugar-free, calorie-free, fat-free. It's amazing what the food industry can do when they really try. And if it was salt-free, I would have this every day. <laughs> I would worship this stuff. <laughs> Sugar free barbecue sauce. Ketchup. Sugar free, calorie free, fat free. And when I go out to stores, I put some of this in a little three ounce bottle that I can keep in my pocket. When I go out to breakfast, I take my sugar free syrup. There is all sorts of sugar-free jams and preserves that you can get at just about any grocery store. And for your beverages, I recommend you sweeten them with stevia, which is a natural sweetener. It comes in a little packet of powder and liquid form. And the liquid form is easier to dissolve in your beverage. That's all the goodies that I have in my goodie bag. So if you really try hard, <laughs> like I have, you can considerably reduce your sugar. The hard part is when you go out to restaurants, but you can make some compromises. And put it together this little effort. Hopefully this will keep my feet healthy and it's actually become a lifesaver. So if you find yourself in this situation, take a look at some of these products before you leave. And sugar-free is always good as a consumption idea, not only for diabetes but for weight loss and other things. Our bodies were not meant to consume all the sugar we do, so there you go. <laughs>